Hey guys, I'm Katie. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a cleaning hacks video. I have six hacks for you. This video is also in collaboration with Kelsey from It's Kelsey's Life and I'm so thankful that she's doing this for me. She's actually my cousin. I just have a wee little small channel and she has quite a few followers. So if you're here from my channel, make sure you go check out Kelsey's channel. She has kind of a lifestyle channel. Overall, she's just a cool gal and you should go check her out. If you are here from her channel, thank you so much for popping over here. I really appreciate you being here. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. So I am having three of my own hacks on my channel and you will also see three of Kelsey's hacks. And then if you wanna see the other half of my hacks, those will be on Kelsey's channel. So with all of that being said, let's get into our first hack. So my first hack is gonna help you keep your oven clean. I got one of these oven liners that I just keep on the bottom of my oven. And then when anything spills over, it just drops on this liner and it's super easy to clean. You can just dump off the crumbs into the trash can. You can rinse it off in your sink. It's even dishwasher safe. I love this thing, it's totally awesome. I got it as a wedding gift and I didn't register for it. And I thought the lady who gave it to me was crazy, but turns out she knew what she was doing and I did really need one of these in my life. Um, so I will leave the link below if you wanna check it out. I'm not a fan of cleaning the shower, um, but it has to be done. So what I do to make this as easy as possible is I get this little scrubby sponge that you can fill up with your favorite kind of cleaner. Um, I'm just using a natural based cleaner here. It's actually one that comes in a spray bottle and I just pour into the handle and I clean my shower this way and I just leave it in there and right every now and then when I'm done showering, I will just wipe down uh, the walls and the tub and boom, Done. Okay, my next hack for you is a laundry hack. So I decided to take some old dress socks of my husband's, thank you husband, and roll them up into tight little balls and then there you go, dryer balls. So you throw those in with your laundry and it just kind of helps break up the clothes, helps them dry faster. And then if you drop a few drops of your favorite essential oils on the socks before you throw them in, that'll help freshen up your laundry. My next tip is for uh, your vent, the, <laughs> the big vent in your house that uh, collects all the air and also collects all the dust, dog fur, and everything else. Um, so the way I clean this is with a butter knife, a wash rag that I don't care about, and um, some vinegar cleaning solution. You can use regular vinegar and water, this vinegar mint solution that I found at the store, but yeah, I take the butter knife put the washcloth over top of it, spray the rag, and then get into the crevices that you couldn't normally get to with just um, a duster or a rag by itself. So give that a try if you need to give your vent a deep cleaning. And my next hack is to help keep your kitchen area clean, specifically right around the sink. But I have a little caddy. So have a caddy or container or something where you can kind of contain some of those things that you use around the sink that can make it look cluttered or messy. I just have this caddy where I keep everything that I use to wash the dishes, um, you know, like the thing that plugs up the sink, just kind of random stuff that floats around. And my last tip is for everybody that uses a sponge. So if you use a sponge to clean in any way, clean your dishes, anything, uh, you need to be disinfecting that sponge. Um, so the best way to do that is to uh, damp the sponge and pop it in the microwave for about two minutes and this will kill 99% of the bacteria that has built up in your sponge, which if you think about it, if you're washing dishes with that and it's full of bacteria, it's just kind of disgusting. So make sure you are disinfecting your sponge um, on a regular basis. I think I would say once a week is good enough unless you feel like it's getting gross, then just pop it in the microwave. Okay, well there are your six cleaning hacks. Make sure you go over and watch the other six on Kelsey's channel and subscribe if you are new here. Again, thank you so, so much to It's Kelsey's Life for doing this collab with me. Definitely very blessed to have her as my cousin. If you found the video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you think of any other cleaning hacks that would help me, you can leave that in the comments below. Just thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.